welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Caroline. Um, okay, you guys, so we are going to do a what's for dinner video. I hope that you guys like it. I'm a very simple cook, okay? Like I make food that is easy, it's fast, and I try to think of what the kids would like. Sometimes you just gotta force them to eat things that is out of their comfort zone or that's good for them. So, but most of it, I can say they pretty much liked it all. There was no real complaints. Um, so I do wanna pre-warn, I suck at taking after, like when I'm done with the food, I just, I'm just in such a rush. We got soccer and we got things to do. So. I just suck at taking pictures or a video of the end result. I'm just like, okay, food's done, serve everyone, let's go. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna work on that part, but if, if for the most part, I show you guys how to do everything. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below and I'll for sure um, explain whatever or talk to you or whatever it is. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, easy dinner idea tacos basically you just cook the meat everything else is done i'll show you In like 15 minutes however long it takes you to do that cut this and put the stuff out you could cut regular um, tomatoes or whatever but I like that it's easy I buy it at Walmart and that's it now everyone I just hand out plates and everyone makes their own tacos tortillas make a burrito whatever you want to do super easy Monday's dinner Okay guys, so I use these noodles. I had them in my pantry, but for this you're gonna need um, ricotta cheese, Mexican cheese, marinara, and I was gonna stuff each noodle with that, but it ended up being way too hard. So I just stuffed it with the meat and then put the rest of the toppings on the top of it, and it was very delicious. So definitely recommend just stuffing it with the meat. Okay, so I would recommend mixing the marinara sauce with your ricotta so that you can mix it all in together um, and then add the cheese. And then you're going to put your oven on 350 and put it in and make sure that it cooks. The cheese is nicely toasted and you'll be ready to serve. It's that easy. Okay, so don't mind the background noise. It's my air fryer so this is how you I do my asparagus the parmesan cheese asparagus so I use this um, I'm gonna I just turned it on I'm gonna wait till it gets hot put oil um, on here and on this but I'm gonna just go ahead and cut the ends off and I'll show you guys So the extra virgin olive oil. So you'll need pepper, Parmesan, and salt. So get all the oil all over it. Go. 
guess I could have just left it, but it's fine because I don't want to make a mess on the counter. Okay, so once it's nicely coated, uh, making you lunch. Okay, and then it looks like this. And then we have our oil on there already. Um, okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and place it on there. Okay, so then you just kind of move it around as it cooks. And this is how they look. I just added a little bit more Parmesan at the end. Um, and then we just are eating it with the black and chicken. This is just a quick and easy lunch. I'm about to make a salad. Okay, guys. So for today's dinner, I'm making white rice, um, pink beans. I can show you guys how to make this in another video, but I'm sure pretty much everyone knows how to make beans. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to make shrimp. So right now I'm just taking the tail off. I already did this bag, I'm just working on this one and then I'm gonna season it and cook it. And this is the shrimp that I buy. This one they gave to me in one of my hauls on that, well not accident, but it was a substitution. I normally like the jumbo, but they gave me medium, so we're working with it. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use. It's really good. I definitely recommend buying it. Um, I just pour it on here into the shrimp, put olive oil in here, and cook it. And it'll be done in like four or five minutes. And this dinner literally took me about 30 minutes to make. Okay, and so when you see them turn pink like that, they are done. So turn this off, everything is done. I'm starting to serve, I have avocado. And that's dinner. I'm going to make um, some quesadilla, I guess. I don't know, we'll see what it turns out to be. So I have skirt steak that I'm cooking. I'm gonna cut it up really small pieces. I'm gonna mush up this. Um, and then I'm going to cook the tortilla. I'm going to put two tortillas in each one. So the I'll show you guys. But um, anyway, the way I cook this is I seasoned it with salt, pepper, um, onion powder, and garlic powder. And then I put butter and just minced garlic. And then I'm going to just cook the tortilla on here. I haven't turned on that part yet. Um, I haven't turned this on because it's not the meat's not done. And then I got this street taco corn from um, Sam's. It's really good, but I'm gonna put it inside of the thing. And then I found this sauce. Um, we were looking for a chipotle sauce, but I just tasted it. It tastes like barbecue sauce to me. So I'm not gonna put it in mine, but Chad said he wants it in his, so. And now I'm gonna mush this up and so I can add it to mine since I'm not gonna have sauce. Okay, so I have my, um, cutter thing. I'm not going to use it to cut this. Okay, so I cut it up in little squares. It's so delicious. I'm literally eating one right now. <laughs> 
Okay, so I put butter on the tortilla. I just put some cheese, some of the sauce. And now I'm gonna put some corn. It's amazing. I, my meat's amazing, say it. Why are you putting the camera on my face? Like, what I don't want even... Sorry. Okay, so I just put avocado. Now I'm gonna put some meat. Just everywhere. And I buttered the this side of it, so when I turn it, it's good. Okay, and I'm about to turn it. I'm gonna actually check. This is the end product. It looks good. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna put a side of sour cream. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you like these type of videos, cause I cook every day and y'all cook every day and i give you ideas and you can give me ideas let me know what are staples you guys cook with or cook with. what are staples that you guys cook every week i know for me i love tacos that's like a pretty much every week i want to eat tacos so that's something i cook often but so what is something you guys cook a lot and is a hit in your house all right guys don't forget to subscribe love you Bye.